Would you like to ride in my beautiful balloon? Would you like to glide in my beautiful balloon? We could float among the stars together, you and I. Oh, we can fly. The media came out with a story about a balloon creating a giant fireball in the sky over central Texas and killing 16 passengers. But this is not the balloon that supposedly caught fire. The fire is supposed to have occurred near the power lines, not in the sky. And there was no damage to the envelope of the balloon that was unfolded on the ground. There were no bodies and no ambulances. So why lie? Oh. Did I mention that the witness that saw the fireball is named Why Lie? So, why did they lie? The Saturn worshippers end electricity on 11-26-2016 video shows that November 26 is 5,555 days after 9-11-2001 and the eccentricity of Saturn is 0 .05555. And the Saturn skit, where the ruler pulled the plug on electricity, aired exactly 5,555 days after the nuclear test ban treaty. Fools! I warned you! The plug is... The Saturnian week. Subscriber 7711 points out that the balloon hoax was 119 days before November 26, 2016, and the inverse of 119 is 9-11. So perhaps this is foreshadowing an event over central Texas on November 26. The balloon they said went up in a fireball has a smiley face on it. The astronaut in David Bowie's Black Star video also has a smiley face button. This video came out two days before Bowie's death and is all about Saturn worship. In fact, the black star is Saturn. Saturn worshippers believe that Saturn was the Earth's original sun. That is why the button is round and yellow. The smile represents the rings and the eyes are Saturn's two moons that are in hydrostatic equilibrium. Perhaps the sunglasses on the balloon represent the Saturn worshippers hiding something. The ruler of Saturn threatens his subjects that he will take away their luxuries. Now remember, stop complaining or I'll pull the plug and you'll lose your power that provides your luxuries. Mozai, the 5th century BC Chinese philosopher, taught that people should live simple lives without luxuries. So it may seem odd that the Chinese calls their high-tech teleportation satellite Mozai. The satellite was going to be launched in July of 2016, weigh 1,000 kilograms in orbit at 600 kilometers. Instead, it launched on August 16th, weighed 1,300 kilos, and is orbiting at 500 kilometers. Perhaps the date, 816, relates to the hidden numbers on the 6-inch cube that was in the Georgia Guidestones. The altitude of 500 kilometers is ideal for setting off an electromagnetic pulse weapon to take out the electrical grid of the United States. Since the satellite travels south to north, if the extra 300 kilograms on board Mosai is an EMP weapon, the perfect place to set it off to eliminate America's electricity would be over central Texas. There's about a half a million people traveling in airliners in the, over the skies of America as we speak, every day, every moment, half a million people in over a thousand airliners. If we're talking about a super EMP weapon, most or all of those are going to come crashing down out of the sky. Uh, the electric grid would immediately stop, so there'd be no food and running water. And it's not just like a normal blackout, especially in the case of a protracted grid, because there are these things called SCADAs, Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition Systems, that regulate everything. It regulates the way water flows through a pipe, the way natural gas flows through a pipe, uh, the way oil flows through a pipe. And these SCADAs will spark, they'll spark natural gas explosions. Everywhere there are natural gas pipelines, oh you know, you can expect massive explosions. There's huge concentrations of natural gas pipelines in cities, wow. you know, that would probably cause firestorms in cities. Uh, because the uh, EMP 
is coupling into the big high power lines, they'll follow those lines because there's nothing to stop the EMP from going right into your house with a super EMP uh, weapon. You know, it, it can cause the wiring inside of a house to flash so you can have, have houses burned down or electrical fires started within homes, oh, you know, wow. because they haven't protected the big grid. But the big grid is basically an entryway into every individual's home, you know, for the EMP to come and destroy your house and put it on fire and put your family at risk. Uh, and that's the um, uh, cars won't start, you know, uh, you know, they would be paralyzed. Trains and automobiles, the kinds of equipment that we have at, on, uh, on docks, uh, you know, won't operate so that you can't offload the goods and services that are coming into um, America. Communication systems wouldn't work. The detonation of an EMP in the atmosphere would create a huge swirl similar to the one that was in Norway when Obama was there to pick up his peace prize and similar to the one in Pet Goat. An event that could trigger a war with China is if Obama sends in the Navy to help Japan with their conflict over the Senkaku Islands. Our treaty commitment to Japan's security is absolute, and Article 5 covers all territories under Japan's administration, including the Senkaku Islands, and is the most destabilizing, dangerous situation uh, in all of uh, the Asia-Pacific region. Obama hints that the end times are coming. It is an honor to be here at my last and perhaps the last White House Correspondents Day. In biblical terms, the United States is Mystery Babylon, and the Statue of Libertas, or Ishtar, or Isis, is the Whore of Babylon. I would bring about the biblical end of days. <laughs> now that's a legacy. <laughs> That's big. I mean, Lincoln, Washington, they didn't do that. An EMP is the weapon of indignation, and the start of World War III is the start of the tribulation. Not to be confused with the apocalypse, which will be September 23rd, 2017, when the woman of the apocalypse is clothed by the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. Obama out.